Hi there, Brian. I'm going to show you my workflow for my networking on my ArchNix machine. I'm sharing my desktop here, and yeah, I'm. I I like to put people onto SystemD NetworkD because it is just so much faster and simpler. I also wrote a blog about it, and I also wrote some instructions for the Pi. So the important thing is to have. Um, a systemd service for WPA supplicant that's for the wireless sort of connection stuff negotiation stuff and of course um, a service for the systemd uh, network D uh, which basically picks up your IP from DHCP um, the, the the way you get it all running is with system CTL um, and the tricky thing is with WPA supplicant I find the um, the WPA PA CLI um, interface very difficult to work with so I basically just edit the config file directly and restart WPA supplicant when I join a new network not ideal of course a lot of people prefer some sort of u user interface where you just scan the ES um, the wireless select the SSID you want and type in your password unfortunately my flow is not very good uh, because I hate using WPA CLI, CLI. I have to uh, you know I can never remember these commands <laughs> so I just do it manually or actually what I do is that I enable personal hotspot on my on my uh, iPhone 6 I plug it in USB and that just works. It just it just works with SystemD Network D. I think I had to get some iFuse packages installed, but Personal Hotspot on iPhone 6 works fantastic with this sort of SystemD Network D setup. I'm going to show you quickly. Shit, I'm taking too long, aren't I? So the important thing um, here is to have WPA supplicant running, which I do. Uh, let me show you my config file which I edit by hand. Uh -oh. My config file is here. And as you can see, I have lots and lots of uh, networks configured. <clears throat> you just need like those three lines to start off with. And then if I join a new network, I just basically, you know, copy and paste and say, oh, new network, uh, Hey dude, what's the password? And I type it in there, and then I just do uh, a restart of this service. I don't touch System D Network D uh, service to so just keep on running there. You do have to configure that, um, and usually you can c get away with a, a fairly generic configuration, like for example, anything matching EN, which I think that that also includes um, the iPhone six uh, and and also anything matching uh, WL gets an IP. I mean, to be honest, I could have just had a generic star one, but I, I like to have a little bit more control sometimes. So how does this work in practice? Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see my keyboard? Sorry, terrible adjustment going on here. I, I like to be wired when I'm at my desk, but if I disconnect that, can you see I've gone to this local thing, which is a bit crap. I'm, to be honest, I just don't like an IP when I'm not on the internet. I don't like these local link addresses. But now you're probably wondering, how do I join the Wi-Fi? So the way I do that, and I can demonstrate this in my logs, is that I go function, and you see that sort of there's a wireless uh, button thing here? If I, if, I, if I toggle that, then it turns on my Wi-Fi. So it's like a, like a hardware switch on the ThinkPad. See, you can see on the top right of my screen in the status bar, I'm now connected to a particular ESSID 888 5 gigahertz. I also show the uh, BSSID of the, of the base station, and I show my IP. So that's wireless on, uh, wireless off, wireless on. So basically, WPA supplicant just works. Don't have to restart it. System D Network D does grabs an IP quickly. So what happens? You're thinking probably when I attach the network, I go like that. Sorry, this connector is terrible. Oh, I hate these things. So 
so right now I'm still on wireless and yes admittedly it's a little bit uh, finicky but I'm pretty used to it I have to manually disable the wireless when I'm connected to wired and immediately I'm I'm on the on the on the wired so yeah that's my workflow basically toggling the physical wireless uh, switch on my ThinkPad connecting things and they just generally work so that's it I hope sorry I hope that helped you get on the sane way of setting up your network um, I also set up um, VPNs when I need to in systemd containers maybe I'll save that for another video